Hello, my friends on YouTube. How are you doing, amigos? This is Memba, and we are going to watch another great video with Age of Empires 2 content. Yes, it's the best game, the best content. And don't forget that if you want that this, this channel keep growing and we can bring more and more videos, don't forget to thumb up, to subscribe. And if you have something to say, don't hesitate, man, and leave a commentary below the video because we love this game. Don't forget, guys, it's really, really important to support the channel. Stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy, guys. We keep going, amigos, because this is round two, amigos. As we go, one moment. One moment, because I'm going to bring you here the, the flags and everything. I want to put the flags here. I didn't put before. And I'm going to put the flags for Brazil and the flag for the Canadian, yeah, and this is best of three, you know, extra round two. Okay, one moment, and then round two, best of three, and we keep going, amigos. Yes, everything's set up. Lithuanians, Dogal, Slamba, Bulgarians in Kawasan. Well, Lithuania always has a crazy opening thanks to the extra food. But look at Bulgarians now doing forging right away. Nice, finally playing aggressive, man. But get the hill. The damn hill. Well, he got forging, so now you don't go away, you kill. Yeah, he just didn't notice in time that he has the plus one. And he got it. That scout is bye-bye. Or it should be. Let's see, if he, if he finds some... I can't believe Islam sometimes. Seriously. How you lose that, man? Aye, aye, aye. You cannot lose those scouts. When you are doing forging, you have to achieve something. Because if not, it's a big, big waste, man. Big waste, man. It's not GG, but... You know, oh, it's open. Yeah, I mean, those scouts are with plus one and they eat villagers, you know. Yeah, it's now killing the villager. What? What? He hit twice and he didn't, he didn't kill anything, man. What the hell? I have to replay this. Where is... Okay, he's here. Guys, let's check it slowly, okay? Let's check it slowly. One, two, and three. Did you see that? It's damn clear. It's damn clear. He... I mean, he hit three times. And you hear the noise? Because I hear that one. You know? Oh, yeah, I will. I will. In what minute was? Around two minutes, right? Around two minutes. Mm. Yeah, but he hit. I believe he did it. But I believe he 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 hit the the villager or not? The hit was in the back. What happened with the hit in the back? No man, it was in front. <laughs> I thought it was normal. Maybe it was too fast, but couldn't really hit. I don't know. He canceled the third hit. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, I will report, and I will ask the devs, do you think that's booged or not? We'll see. This is the game one, Dogal versus Islam. Anyway, we keep going. Four Tivolis for both players. They have Doc and Doc as well. Villiers 38, 39. 
Did he lose any? Dogao has killed four units to slam. Slam. Now get the first kill. But didn't kill anything till now. Spear, you have to be careful. And resources for Dogao. Looking smooth. He's fully wall already. No. It's open. Open here. But he can see. So he should go. And now Slam is doing the Tone Watch. Tone Watch is amazing. Look. Really amazing. You can see it coming with the tower. It's, it's fantastic. It's underrated. Really, really underrated. Okay. It's not life, you know? It's a troll, okay? <laughs> it's a troll, man. It's a troll, okay? It's a real troll, amigos. <laughs> it's not life, guys. It's really not life, okay? Hopefully now, hopefully now you know, okay? It was played private, okay? Don't want to troll you anymore. Anyway, double stable is going Castle Age almost at the same time. And then my question is, Lithuanians or Bulgarians in Castle Age? I mean, Bulgarians with the crepos we have seen and um, with the cheaper upgrades, but if Lithuanians is getting the middle, so, Slam is mining stone with two values. Where is mining stone? Here it is. Sorry. Mm. So, if he's able to, to drop here a Krepos and get the relics, it's very important. But, man, I can't believe that this happened all the time. Now he's going to lose the fish. He's doing the galley later. Oh, man. And losing, losing the pond. Why you don't have a single galley? Why you don't have a single galley? You know? I don't understand. One valley is idle here, okay. Well, he's forcing him to wall, but... The KD is, is very bad for Slam. Very bad. Already five villages down. Fishing ship villages, the same it is. Okay, some units, but let's see. War Galley upgrade and now Pikeman upgrade for the Bulgarians. How many Pikes he got? Seven. That's quite a lot. He's coming with the Knights. And the Pikes will defend. The problem is that... It's... Mm, you don't have mobility. These Knights are with the plus one and Bloodlines. Well, the Pikes got the attack. Okay. In those numbers, definitely, those going to dominate. You cannot send little by little. It has to, it has to mass. And right now he has two knights only. He has the monk, but uh, oh, Slam did the work galley upgrade. Okay, he's killing all the fish. He's kind of recovering the situation. Yeah, it is. He's gonna have even more echo KD than his opponent. Look, so that's fine, completely fine. But look at the stone. A Krepos in the middle has to be done. And he's coming with five villages. Who is this? Vamos! Man, vamos, amigo! Thank you for the three moons. Thank you for the Prime. Don't forget, guys, that the Prime is amazing support for the channel. And well, if you need a VPN, also, it's amazing support. This that you're going to see there, okay? Not gonna explain in the middle of the game, but you know, you can check the command and check yourself. Is great offer, amigos, I'm telling you. Okay, house, monk, and gonna make a house too. He's going to convert. Okay, double attacks. Islam is, is without any echo, man. But this is very good. This is really, really good for the Canadian. Yeah, for, for the long game, this is really good. He's gonna take the relics. You know, he's a little bit behind with the Echo, but he's not letting any... Re well, Dogao has one. Okay. Yeah, but one is not huge. I mean, it helps, but... 
It, it doesn't make the knights, you know, unstoppable. It's okay. And now, time to grab the relics himself. Obviously, now, Slam need to make TCs. Make it here. Well, Tatar is fine too. Gonna take the berries. He's protected. So, very nice stone center. He got the fish here, but he lost the dog on the left. Three TCs now. Guys, who has the advantage here? He has more Willis Dog out, but Slam got the middle. Is the middle an oath to dominate? Or not? He's gonna Palisade here. He's doing now another TC. Hmm. Having four relics for so long. I'm, I'm not sure. You know? It depends on the readings. And for now, they're walled. But guys, the players are playing super safe. They are not taking really risk. Walling a lot. And they are booming almost all the games, you know? Yeah, and and he's having a lot more farming early, you know? A lot more farming early. With also horse collar. No horse collar for his opponent. Yeah. And he has where's the army to take the knights? Just send the pikes now. So five knights versus nine pikes. Obviously, they will kill. The pikes will dominate. He has to be careful, man. Ay ay ay. And another TC. Okay, that's four tone centers. See you. Cap archers. Okay. No ballistic. You need to finish that. That siege war shop. He's going to convert one knight or not? No, he didn't. He got already the four relics and he's coming with Cap Barches Lithuanians. Nice. What army he's going to do? He has, he's doing knights here. You need skirmishes now. Yeah, he has no ballistic. He needs to go back. And uh, Archie Ranges is the way to go. He's not doing Archie Ranges? Seems like not. So what is his reaction here? He did the Siege Workshop in front. A few Scorpions, but now he has knights. And he has mobility. Mobility with a good boom. The boom from... I mean, the slam boom is, is, is okay too. But then to defend here, more Krepos maybe. Oh, it was open all the time. It really was open all the time? Seriously? Aye, aye, aye. The walls are very nice. He will almost see the TC, but he's getting inside. He's gonna be dangerous. Why these houses, man? Do you need stone walls, man? Stone walls. And those villages, he could put them to work already. But no. Okay. He's doing more knights. The knights are still with zero abrit. Guys, how many villages got slam on gold right now? How many villages slam on gold? I know he has four relics, but how many villages on gold? Literally, man. Literally zero, man. That's not good, man. That's really not good. The pikes are coming, those pikes got only the plus one attack. The cap bars is with blood lanes, with plus two, skilling all the pikes. There's no ballistic though. He is a scorpion, so who's gonna take this battle? Very interesting and very important. He's converting one knight. And oh my god, he has almost a stone to drop a castle. But this battle, it's for the Brazilian or for the Canadian? He's doing a good job of slam here. Yeah, he's taking quite a lot. But Togao is going to do a castle here maybe to take this down or, or what? I mean, I don't know. He's doing another TC. Still booming. He still have 86 bullets with all this aggression. He's still keeping the lead. You know, keeping the lead. The KD, the KD now is better for slam, so it's okay. Well, there was not about the micro. That... That the spot was very, very small, and he was doing a good job, Islam. So I think both played okay, you know? Like, Dogao couldn't do more there. I think he just committed a lot, and probably he should do it. He shouldn't do it and go back. Anyway, both fights got the stone to drop castles. Where? Because you cannot have only this goal. You know, this is also open. 
And coming again with a lot of cav archers. A lot of cav archers. And those knights, not even bloodlines. Chain part in armor, okay, no bloodlines. But he's raiding, man. He's raiding 10 villains now behind. Flamma has lost 14. The pikes are in the hell. The scorpion can help, but not against this amount of army. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nobody put the... Mm, drop a castle? Definitely not. I will have dropped a castle where? Hmm. In front? He's coming aggro, man. But he's doing the castle on the right. So if Islam is doing one here, he's a very nice one. He's taking the goal. He's taking that one. But the problem is these guys. Their resources. The castle is solid. Yeah. It is fine. It is really fine. But the timing to go up to Imperial for his opponent is going to be brutal, man. He's about to go up. Yeah, I mean, he can click up if he wanted now. He just buy the food and go. While Slam Economy, oh my goodness. He has 101 value, yes. But no will borrow and no resources in the bank. So, at least that he's now pushing with ramps. And then, breaking in and make crepos in... Well, nothing. He can't make crepos. This is a perfect cancel to stop everything. To stop the push... And ladies and gentlemen, Dogao the Brazilian, it's probably, even without relics, winning the first game. Because one player is on the way to Imp, is doing hand card, the other player is doing Wheelbarrow and Husbandry. So, no, it's not working, man. It's seriously not working. He has now 41 farmers, 42, even more. Well, it's not farmers, it's, there's a lot of villages on the berries. It counts as villages on food. And now, what? He's gonna try to kill those? Eh, it's not gonna happen. Definitely not. Yeah, the score difference is insane because the advantage is really, really important here. Really important for sure. Obviously now Islam is, is grabbing resources. Yeah. He's only producing villages. He's not doing nice, he's not doing any army. So if he just and queue all the villages, he will have also the resources to go up, which is fine. It's nice. So you have the hill, the castle forward. But that timing in Imperial is going to be rough. It's going to be difficult. It is going to be very difficult. Okay. It's up to Imperial now with 2 minutes and 30 seconds advantage. Village difference is only 10, but I don't know. He should try to maybe raid now or something. Also, exploring would be ideal, man. Exploring the map. He's doing the castle on top of that hill. But the resources for Dogao are brutal, man. He's doing the pikes. He's doing the plus three chemistry. Another thing, Dogao has bomber cannons. Bulgarians don't have bomber cannons, you know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you ask me, would you prefer Bulgarians in late game or, or Lithuanians? The problem is that he's not expanded. Look at the corner, man. He didn't explore anything. So he doesn't even know that he has a goal so close. There's another stone. While Dogao, he has seen all the map. Much better play, man. Yeah. With the cap archers. Now how about these chemistry? Yeah, the halves are going to be there without any upgrade yet, so... Mm. And uh, Slam is still missing both corners, actually. What the hell? In this corner, sad, sadly, there's only the stone. But still, well, it's something. And the goal here. Well, he explored that, but it's not going. Anyway, let's see. He knew that he was going to lose this castle. Now the relics are going to be in danger? Not really. Then Slam... Venga, hambre! I mean, seriously. I mean, it's, it's so difficult to make the, mo the monastery that he has here just send the relics here. Why he switched the relics from this monastery to this? Can you explain me? From this to this. From this to this, or, or even here, man. But not in the same stupid area, man. Oi, oi, oi. Or not. 
I mean, he seems dead anyway. Well, that's not the point. We're talking about the relics. Don't change topic, please. <laughs> anyway, population 190, 160 slam. Doing the Cavaliers, okay? Please, please. Relic at the back. At the back. Okay. Heavy Cav Archer. Plus four. I don't think the Lithuanians got party and tactics. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think they do have. Okay. Now he's gonna have halves and cavaliers. Actually, this is a very good combination. So. Well. Oh, but the castle and the crepe was only fletching, man. No botkin even. When they are so cheap. No botkin, no braces, so it's not really defending. Yeah. The castle don't is not even is not even on the range. Look. Yeah, the castle is not in the range because no upgrades. My goodness. Okay. Well the castle is gonna be down. Cavaliers are trying to do the job. They are very strong. It's plus four. But he has so many cab archers there. Slam. Army is at the limit. But they are, they are, they are good. They are strong. He's taking a trap? Okay. And he's spamming halves? Not really. Togao is spamming halves. Slam. How about this plus one? The halves are better for Bulgarians, but... Yeah. Also, owner here will help a lot. He's gonna kill that. No, he's just attacking the situation. shot. Okay. GG. Well, Dogao clearly dominated. Even without relics, his economy was millions ahead. Really, really millions ahead, you know? And, uh, well, it's what it was, man. Don't meet Nated, man. Really don't meet Nated. He's looking today good, man. Looking strong, man. Looking strong, yeah. Military, but this is a best of three. This is only the first game. 66 army high, 47. Economy... 10k more, man. I mean, with 10,000 resources more, what'd you do? You know, very difficult. Game two, guys. Yeah, it's better than you two, but we keep going. And let's see what it's going to be. All right. What about this map, guys? This map, it's... This map is solid. Let's remember to, to watch a little bit. Yeah. With the beautiful... Setup camera, amigos. Dogao Saracens, Slam Mayans. A map that it is slow, not too fast. It's true that the gold and the berries are outside, but they are far. They have to go around. It's like a reverse hideout or something, you know? Yes. So, mm, Mayans are great, but if with the Saracens you manage to make the magic market oof the timing the momentum and how Dogao is playing how Dogao is playing is uh, it's another Dogao he's playing very solid in the first well this is the second series remember that they played all the series on Saturday and Sunday they played all you know It's too many cities, actually. It's, yeah, the Rome Robin is too many cities. I mean, if they were available to cast, you could not cover all the games because I believe that all the rounds was going to be played simultaneous. So it means you could only cast one series per round, you know? One, one series per round, you know? Yeah, but it makes that the castle each approach it's also going to be a thin look at this. You sell the stone. Oh my god. Yeah, but I'm very curious to, to know to know who who won the series, man. Do you want guys that I cast all the series? Seriously? Do you want me to die? All the series, man? Do you want me to die, that right, Walter? Okay. 
Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Not die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you say not die. <laughs> anyway. Asshole, man. This Walter, man. You first VIP, then moderator. You, you are becoming a total beep. Okay. Go mine it up, right? Both are going to Castleage. Both sell the stone. And now... Arches? Well, slam cheaper Arches. To go Arches that make bonus... That have bonus against the buildings. So... I don't know, man. Pretty sick, man. Remember that... The player who win in this series... Has already a 2-0. You know? Has already a 2-0 because both won their cities in the round one. Okay? Uh oh. Yeah, but this is 35 seconds difference. This is this is important. This is important, really. Cross one bot Kinaro, do you want to attack now before he's doing the upgrades? While Dogao don't want that. Yeah, he has 15 seconds. Well, now he's gonna be in castle, and as soon as he gets the upgrade, now he's going back. This is very nice timing by Slam Boy. He's going back now, gonna make the upgrades as well. A military number, Slam got more. In theory, Slam is better with the micro. In theory, we're going to discover, guys. We are going to discover. Obviously, the timing with the arches and Botkin is better for yellow. Got one. He's doing a second TC, so he bought it a stone already. He bought it a stone. He sell to go up, and now he buy it to make TCs. I like more Dogao approach. Valistic already? With some good micro here, the domination is gonna be real. Ballistic now in one second. Imagine now. Okay. He's coming with more. I think he's gonna notice now that Ballistic is already there. And with Ballistic... Okay. You have to be careful, though, now. With Ballistic... Well, Slam is microing good against Ballistic. I like that. Okay. This is a good... This is a good micro by Slam against Ballistic. Now he might lose. Because he's spamming a lot more. But he did well. And then here what? More RT ranges? Yes. More RT ranges. Yeah, now he lost them all. Which is normal. This is what happens when you have ballistic and your opponent not. Right? You dominate. If you play normal. But Slam is going greedy. One, two, three TCs, okay. But if he's coming now with a ability four war Memstradamus, look how strong it is. He's like me after the, the after being in the gym today, look at this. Unbelievable. Okay. Jokes aside, now he's gonna make a siege war shop. And crossbows, man. How'd you stop, man? How'd you stop, man? I'm still not that strong, sadly. I'm just losing kilos. But then I watch in the mirror and I say, and then I think, Memp, not even with the gym. All disaster. Don't watch to the mirror anymore. <laughs> anyway let's see the crossbows why you want that they take my 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 my, my t-shirt well check on on my instagram in my instagram i'm i'm there in a in a different situation uh oh be careful there 22 army 12 the three tcs for the long run great but now what? The Siege War Shop is a little bit too far. I would have done it here. Was a little bit too safe with this choice. But guys, I forgot that these units eat the buildings, man. What the hell? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Okay. Rather be should be unhappy than Slim and unhappy. 
This is what someone to me will say, yes. You can be slim and happy too, you know? <laughs> anyway, let's see with the magnets and crossbows. Ooh, ooh, be careful, man. Ouch. You have to be careful, man. Nah, he's, he's just destroying the buildings, man. Who has the advantage, man? Who is this? Mihai! Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for the raid. Welcome you and your viewers. Hopefully you got a, a great stream. We're watching Slam Dogao in this extra qualification from the Red Bull. Trying to see who is going to dominate, you know? Ooh. Okay, man. Be careful, man. Be really careful. And now... Nice micro. This is too many units, man. It's really too many units. Obviously, he's behind with the village number, but... The Saracen's market helps a lot. And I don't know. I'm going to go to his point of view. But... Yeah. Oh, man. Almost losing both. Where's the village? A little bit far. But this rating? This is a solid rating by Slam. So, Slam got all the army on, on Dogao's base. Well, at home, he only got the siege. That's risky, and I like it. Because you, you, you have to raid, really. And if he raid, oh, but now he lose the mangonel. That's not good. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Well, this is where you can see that the multitasking is probably not the best skill for Dogao. You have to be really quick in these kind of situations. Dogao is amazing with the macro. It's amazing also if he has to focus in one spot. He has a little bit more problems. Not only him, in general, all the players. You know, this is more complicated when you have to deal with two situations, two, two attacks. You know, one at home, one in front. The micro is a lot more difficult, man. And Slam is really doing a good job here. Yeah. He out Bozo. Not any upgrade now. Okay, doing will borrow too. But no Bozo. And he forced with this attack to push him back. What I don't understand is why Islam at this point is not doing more archers. I don't get it. Or maybe he thinks, hey, I'm not going to catch up those archers ever. I just raid a little bit and keep booming. And this is what he's doing. Four tone centers for the Canadian. Four tone centers. My goodness. Four tone center with the Mayans. The boom is exploding now. And he's 32 farmers, 15 is more than double. The crops are coming again, but he has the siege, two mangonels. And with the outpost and with these houses, he's well protected. He's gonna see when he's coming. Look. Yeah, we know that they are here. He might take the house very quick. Ooh. Ooh. See, now the unit's coming. And. Good shot! Really good shot there by Slam was really not Dogal. He killed a few archers and some others are very low HP. Now he has to be careful in the north. Let's see the multitasking because we want to see a desider. A desider, amigos. Okay. Another mangonel down. He's going back. And the KD now a little better for Slam. Yeah, he has. But no horse collar, man. What the hell? That hurts, man. That really hurts. Four tones and this now. Guys, 20 billions more. 20 billions more is a lot. The castle is just being very, very defensive. He's going to lose the mango, the monk. No. Or maybe he will now. No, but he lost the mango. Even worse. And here the crowbot will, will be gone. But Slam, it's doing barracks, preparing the eagle transition. Because he feels that his economy is good and he's right. Not his micro with the mangonels. Now better. And no, he cannot kill it, but he's going to take the relic. And it's going to be the second. Yeah, he's about to go up to Imp. And spam eagles through this area, probably. He should do more barracks here. Outpost, okay. 
Pozo, Heavy Plow, Not Even Horse Collar, Damn, but ladies and gentlemen, the Canadian is on the way to Imperial. And with very little army, he has done a really good job. Now he has no army, but he's up. The go, a lot of army, not up. And then, spamming eagles, squires, and doing eagles, man. Yeah, he has no resources yet. I mean, no upgrades, but he will because he has no resources at the moment. Okay. Let's see what is going to happen. Five barracks. Arches taking the outpost and hand card. Squires doing all the upgrades, man. Doing the damn all the upgrades. Little by little. But the arches are coming. Mm. With the Saracens, he might... Yeah, he just need to enqueue the villages and sell some resources and he might go up. But the timing now is very important. And how do you stop the Eagles now? Like... Ooh! Ooh! Well! And if you make some bad moves like this, losing half of those archers, then even more complicated to defend. That was a good one. Yes! That was a good one. He need to go back. He can see now that all the barrels are there, so he knows what is coming. And honestly, he's getting there. He's getting the resources to go up. He has a good boom. But stopping now the Mayans with the Eagles? Well, he's getting cap arches, okay. With Ballistic. He's gonna lose all the monks. And the Eagles? They are not even... Ooh, he took the monk. I like that. Yeah, you need to go back, man. He's gonna be able to hold with the cap archers. Good shot here. Didn't kill, but... Nice... Okay, that wasn't a good shot. <laughs> you know, I wanted that it was a good shot, but it didn't, you know, so... Elite Eagle Warrior, that was a good one again. Okay. Six barracks. Spamming Eagles, Elite Eagles, plus two. Gonna make the plus four in a moment. There you go, okay. And... Ay, ay, ay. Plus four. Elite Eagle Warrior, and... Nah, those, those Eagles are, I don't know. Well, the good thing is that he keep him on his base. He's doing now the blunt lines. He's on the way to Imperial. He's going cap archers. Can heavy cap archers stop the Eagles? If you mass crazy amount of them, maybe. And he has a good amount, actually. 26. 27 even. Remember that Saracen's got champions. But champions don't have mobility. That's the problem, you know. I mean, they, they can do the job. They can do it really well. In a static position, yes. It is difficult, you know. Very difficult. El Dorado already? Wow, man. Well, the slam boom is insane. I mean, 145 villages, 52 farmers, 30 on gold, 2 relics. What the hell? And this is going to be already Eagles plus... Not, not attack, no forging or anything, but man. With the plus 4 and the Dorado upgrade in 25 seconds. Psst. Yeah, plus three will help a lot, but military numbers now. And Islam is doing a castle here. Islam is playing this one very good, man. Really, really good. And he's calling the GG. And we have a decider. Yeah. With APM a little bit better for Dogao, but in this one, the Canadian did a great job, man. A really great job. 1-1. One, one. Let's go and see now the... The statistics, military, he killed more, but the economy already also 3,000 uh, more and 153 villages is crazy, it's a lot, it's really a lot. Such a boomer, this this Canadian. Guys, decided game that is what we love it. Let's go. Game number three, Decider. Not my, not my favorite map. But Hindustanis and the Vikings. Vikings is expected. Hindustanis on water. I don't know if they are good on water, to be honest. He's doing a demo. So he's going directly with the demo and probably try to go land. Because Hindustanis on land might dominate to the Vikings. Hmm. 
I don't know, man. I don't know, professional, man. Professional. Let's see. This this is a weird map. Just probably for the ooh. Okay, he react properly, but even like that, he lost one fishy ship. There's fish, but it's not the fish. It's all all shore fish actually. A lot, but shore fish, which is slower than the other that did the fish. And now he's going for an archie range. His opponent archie range too. Well, he's not going galleys, man. Interesting. The problem with this map is that look how far they are. Like, how is impossible? How you are not going to have here a very long game? Yeah, but how you kill fast in this map? It is possible to kill fast in this map? Dogao has killed already one Valir, well, one fishy ship. He has three galleys. Okay, let's see the, the tower. Oh, wow. The ta what the hell is this tower, man? This tower, Robin Hood is inside, man. What? Now I understand why the players are a little bit slow attacking this. Yeah, he killed three fishing ships, Slam. So that was good. Trade, but that tower destroy the galleys. Okay, so it's very important that you have good fish close to the tower. Yeah, because if not, you cannot defend. Now going with the archers and... We're going to see his wall in this area, okay. I mean, I don't know. Taking another fish. The archers are now coming. He's to wall this area. And uh, yeah, the game will go for the late game. They're they walling all. They're walling all. They are not going a lot for water. I mean, this is good for the Canadian. He has right now a lot more uh, economy in theory because he has 37 villages both players but five fishy ships six actually there's another here that you don't see it oh wow okay and then he has the galleys here he's now on the way to castle each after this village i don't know why he didn't cancel because every second matters but yeah well let's see He's going around with those units. Ah, oh, but Slam need to wall, man. He's going to wall this area. A couple of houses and palisade. If we go forward, he could wall. He's, well, he's the same. He's pretty much the same. He still need to keep some galley here because, well, the units can do a can do damage here. They can go crossing through this area. And yeah. But you see guys how far they are in this map. The, the aggression. I mean, you go castle because you cannot attack in feudal age. I mean, you try to go and it's super far. Really, really far. I believe here 95, 98% of the games is going Imperial. At least that you play very bad in Castleage. It's a go. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Daniel will take this tournament? Uh, well, I'm not sure, man. That would be a huge surprise.
Well, we still need to know the settings, you know? Because we don't know the settings. It's supposed to be group stage. It's very important to see the groups, you know? And see how it's going to be. And then we can decide who is going to be, right? So let's see, man. The Mangola will take those units, bam! He's gonna take it or not? Who is this? <sighs> Didn't take this Let's one. Go, Daniel. One, two, three tone centers, okay. Skimmises are helping here, but... They are not gonna deny anything. We need to go back. And this is the delaying. And uh, well, Dogawa's ahead. He has three TCs. He has 10 villages more. It's true that he has the fish, but I prefer to have the farming that he's getting already. Okay. Red has no farming at all yet. Horse collar, hand card for free. And now War Galley upgrade. Ah. He's going to kill the fish. Interesting. Very interesting. Do you not know that you see this is four tone centers already? I mean you don't check the the the, the capture rates, fifty-eight billies, fifty-eight billies more. Do you see the fish? Seven fishing ships, that's the thing. It's different, man. Though the account is different. Then they got fishing ship, but as I said, more efficient. The villagers. Well, now he has total dogs, so it's okay. Oh my god, the tower. The tower is very strong. The tower is with Botkin Arrow now. And he's gonna try to kill the fish. It's not. There's a mangonel. And well, some battle on water. And boom. As I told you, Imperial Battle, guys. Imperial Games. Imperial games, maybe some more water now, but yeah, not so cruise, not, not not so much. There is four tone centers, and we will see if they will go full water now in Imperial, or they will do some aggression on the land. Obviously, the land is important because if you don't get the gold or one of those, then you are then you are fuck, guys. Then you are in a big problem, in a really big big problem. I love it, the death match. Well, that's why I cast it. I wanted to, 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 to show you that death match is better than what you think, right? Because I was checking the settings and they were very nice. You know, these are very good too, but not this map. I mean, when when the Imperial come, it might have some big battles, but right now. Just a little bit on water and boom completely. 78, 68, 14 villages more. Wow. Well, it's four tone cent is now doing a castle here. Dogao is probably taking this game. Yeah, I mean, he's having a massive boom right now. You know, a massive boom. Yeah, but who 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 thinks that Dogao is going to go water? To go is just gonna try to push, probably. I don't think. Why to go water? Just push on the land. Yeah, he has a stone to make another castle, and then I will do the castle. Probably here, but he's risky. He has two miners and the outpost, so not gonna work. Maybe he just push completely on, on, on the same side. Like another castle here. Control all the middle, all this area, sorry. Yeah, he's going forward. No. I'm scared. He's doing gulams. Gulams. Oh boy. 
Well, he has 23 villains more. 23 villains more is massive. Really, really massive right now. And only three fishing ships left. It's true that the Vikings economy is solid, but this economy from Dugao is sick. Now he's in the Gulams and he's going back. He needs to wall, man. But I insist, when you notice that you have the army, make a castle here. No, he's doing at home. Want to be safe. Very safe. And have a spot. Have castles in both sides. Okay. His choice. He's on the way to Imperial, guys. Being faster than the Vikings helps a lot. He has to be careful with the Gulams. He needs some upgrades. He's coming with the Mangonel. Now he's gonna mine more stone. And two TCs here. Well, he's opponent only one. He has 4,000 versus 3. That's also a reason. He has a lot more villains, obviously. Yeah. He's still not up. And well, boom game, amigos. Completely boom game. Oof. Yeah, the problem with the map is that it's super easy to wall at home. You can see that there's a lot of wood. You know, well, not, not much. It's just that the players just wall all the time. Okay, another castle here. And now he's doing a castle at home. As you can see, in BDLH and supplies, he's gonna go what? Champions. The Vikings champions maybe dominate. Okay. And since Vikings has a great echo, maybe he's an old with this 95 values. Well, he's doing more boom. So here we have more. We'll see, guys. Red is here with the, with the galleys. You need to kill, but look, look, look. Oh, come on. He go to the water, man. He's going to the water. And now those crowbars are going to the hell. Uh, well, where's the crossbows, guys? Disappear in one second, man. Sick. Really sick. Yeah, he's in Imperial now with 113 villages. His opponent 20 villages behind. He's still with five fishing ships. And now, stone walls. Stone walls, amigos. This is elite Gulam. Okay. He has three castles. And we're going to see a domination here or not. Honestly, the champions and the berserkers so kill the Gulams. I think so. Slam need to buy a lot of time. I mean, well, yeah, because he does have resources to make the upgrades. Yeah, he's doing infantry, standard infantry. It's not walling here. He's coming with the mangonel, with the gulams. A lot of, lot of gulams already. Well, quite some. Gonna lose the villain? Not really. And now he's doing the long swords. Plus two. But his opponent has already the, the elite. So, he should go... Why well, he's not doing traps? Yeah, he's doing one golem and one trap at the bottom. Why not here? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not sure anymore who is who's gonna be able to win here. Obviously, this is now an Imperial battle. But, if he go champs and he notice, he should do hand cannoneers. Chief Tines are pretty play to the, all the infantry. No, they don't have they don't have hand cannoneers with eight range. They have hand cannoneers with nine range. With nine range. Okay. This is two on the source plus four. Dogao is housed, man. Is this seriously? But he's attacking in both sides and Slam react now. Problem? He has no army here. He has Berserkers. He could convert. The Berserkers? Plus four. But he's not attacking, man. Oh my god. My goodness. The Gulans are in the middle here on the water. But now 
The Canadian is coming. And please check the amount of farming from Dogao and the amount of farming from Slam right now. Slam got a lot more, but the hand cannoneers are just coming. The monks in the hell. Now the bomber cannons in the hell too. He converted three, no, two gulams. Killing the bomber, he got it. And that's really important to kill the bombers. But he lost the castle. Fast and unpredictable. Okay, he's coming now with the traps. I'm telling you something. If you kill those castles and come in with those infantry champions, they have great HP. Remember, 72. Ooh. Right now, and... Well, he's doing the champions. We'll see how much is going to be that HP. He didn't wall this. And... Clear down. And now, raiding... But to go again with a lot of army, man. 36 golems. And the champions, 84 HP. The problem is... Why do you send those units here? Can you explain me? Because I don't know. Just wait with the traps. Don't lose the traps. And try to push from there. Yeah. Dogao is, has some stone to repair. So he has a stone forever. But in this area, Dogao is just destroying with the hand cannoneers and the gulams. Look at Dogao's score. Dogao is playing amazing in this, in this, in these games. He's playing good, man. He's playing really good. Bomber cannons. Yeah, very slow map. Then the, be the best civilization win. Or not. In a slow map that you cannot really attack, the best civilization should win in normal circumstances. GG call. Should win 95% of the, of the times. Or not. Like, if you have the best Civ in a slow map, that should be. That should be, really. Okay. To be fair, Industrians are way better than Vikings. That's what I'm talking. You know? That's what I'm talking. And now, the Arbalists don't even have uh, Thumbrain. So, yeah. 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one for Dogao. Dogao knows and he went for the boom. And we're going to see the statistics. Military, 114.77. Economy, 7,000 resources more. Technology? Well, look at this, man. 7,000 resources more. 142 villages, man. And faster than, than the Vikings. Yeah, Dogao is still undefeated in this extra qualifier, man. Thank you for following. And now, here we go, amigos, with Slam versus Dark. This is round three, and... In round three, I will put Dark as a red. Slam has one victory and one lost. Dark, two wins. If Dark is winning, a 3-0, oof. And then if he's a Slam winning, then both with 2-1. Will be very interesting. So let's see what he's going to be, you know? Let's see what he's going to be. Okay. Why do you... Uh... Joe MA4, why do you copy my, my description channel in my chat? Doesn't make any sense, but hey. Okay. Um, we have Mayans versus Aztecs. Mesosifs, man. Ooh. Ooh. Aztec seems dangerous, man. In in this kind of map that close, very dangerous. Also, they produce faster, 11%. Obviously, the micro is going to be really important here. Okay. And the KD 2-1 for now. But that eagle? Now, he should go away with that eagle. It's not going. And one thing very important. Red got the fletching already. Slam, for some reason, is not doing the fletching. Can you explain me why? Because I don't know. Slam has no double attacks, no fletching. He has resources for both, but he's not doing any of them. That he just want to go castle as soon as possible, and that's why he's not doing the fletching. But if you don't make the fletching, it's going to be difficult to counter. And this is open. It's open. Why he's... Go in? 
Don't want to commit in case that he get trapped or what? It's open, man. What is this, man? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I'm live? Are you sure that I'm live? I don't know if I'm here. I really don't know if I'm here. Oh, man. Okay, be careful there with the archers. He's gonna take it? I don't understand red gameplay here. Honestly. Losing here all the army. But I, I, I start to feel that Islam didn't make the upgrade on purpose. Want to go up so quick. Yeah, okay. I might be wrong. It's true that Dark is already using the market. But if Islam can go without using the market, that's huge. Very nice, actually, you know. Very nice. Okay. Thirteen villas on goal. Six villas on goal here. Palisade gate. He's up, man. He's up to castle. It's fantastic, man. Aztec economy also amazing. Going up only five seconds after, maybe ten. Uh, it's true that he sell one hundred stone, but he's fine. Oh. He's already here with Obama. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, but... I like that he's here in this situation, but honestly... Uh, Slam has a good idea, but it might fail. I'm gonna tell you why. Those... Yeah, Slam gonna lose that villager. Maybe not. Oh! Very nice. Very nice. But he has two barracks here. He's not connected. And now he's going the army in front. So Dark is going to be able to make damage. Then he has only one barrack to defend. And this is not yet good. So he's not going to be out. So those two barracks. What, are, what damage are doing those barracks, guys? I mean, how much damage they do? Zero. Literally. Zero. Nothing. Oh my god, another. Well, his resources, look at the wood. His wood is... His wood is insane. He has double attacks, he's not doing fletching. He's doing a fire galley now. And... He has no goal to make the Eagle Warrior. He should sell some wood, but he's not doing. He's doing the market now because he didn't have the market. And Eagle Warrior, Esquires, and Red has two barracks and Siege War Shop. I like that he's doing a TC here with one villager. Okay, but can you explain me, guys, really how the hell he's going to defend this area? Because I have no clue. This is weird play by Islam, really. Really, really weird play. I don't know, man. It's, uh, well, we'll see. The idea to be, to be here is nice, but it's too early, man. Okay, he's fighting here now. Sticking so, ooh. Yeah, Slam has seven villages behind. Why is seven villages behind? Because seven fishing ships. And here, zero. Well, now this is a, this is a disaster. It's gonna get all closer. Because all the, all this advantage is gone. If you take the village and you take the fish, then what? Did they make a single fire galley? That's weird. Yeah, and now we see the Canadian with with three TCs, he's going to delete and the valley is gone. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's gonna cut. The problem is the like. You see all the army outside. But at the end, Slam is having the advantage. I think the start was a little bit tricky, but the following is being better, and Dark is not doing a good job here. 
Yeah, because he never pushed it here. I mean, I was afraid that if he's going to push here, he was going to do a lot of damage. But le let's see. It's 11 eagles, it's still more eagles. Oh, man. But now he's inside in the wood line. Look at those eagles now. It's going to take few villages here. Yes, he will. He didn't notice. And no, the barrack. Go to the TC. Pretty crazy. Well, still taking the shore fish. Now he's raiding here this area. Has to be careful. Will you be casting running versus Ganji Wahala today at 15 GMT? Correct. That's correct. Look what he say after Red Bull Wallolo extra qualifier round two in parenthesis. And Alicat4269. Thank you so much for the Prime. You are the first new subscriber of the day. Awesome. Beautiful. We got a resubscription, but now this is a new subscriber. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much. Vamos. Well, Slam has recovered, but population? Not as much. He has recovered with the boom, but now he has 34 eagles. Wall. Wall. Oh no, it's not wall. It's not needed to wall. Now he's gonna wall. Oh, this is can be good. This is can be really good. But attack. Oh my god. Well, why not a gate? Because he has no stone. And this army is gonna die. Why is gonna die? Pretty, pretty easy. Red got plus two, plus one. Yellow only plus one. And also he got more numbers. What he can do? Lose everything. And dark, 95 population. That only means that dark might be getting closer and closer to be one game away to have Three cities win in three rounds. That's huge, you know. That's really, really huge. My goodness. Okay. One, two, three barracks. It's gonna wall now. A few houses. Yeah, but another. Nah, it's it's it shouldn't work. Okay, he wall it. Okay. Bam, the villa is down. Okay. It's gonna take it. It's taking another. Nah, it's too many units, man. Just look. I, I don't know why Islam is playing this boomy approach. We saw yesterday and it worked, but in a moment like this. You really, really want to go we'll three TCs and than three. almost no army. I don't understand. Will be a good day, man. Thank you for the five moons. Like dark with two TCs in a very, very nice approach. It's spamming a lot of eagles, and he's having the game. Like this is over. I don't know if this lone source is gonna be an oath. Don't think it is. I mean, the units are great, but the numbers. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Did you... What? Did you see this? Look at the numbers now. Did he... Well, what? Where is the 40 eagles? He killing a lot? Yeah, well, the, do the bonus damage is definitely there, but... The numbers, it was... It was double. And now... Now he lose them all. And now what happened? Now Dark kill everything again. What, 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 what? I mean, I don't know. He's still not mining a stone. He need to wall this. Okay. But he need to do more army. He's not doing. He's doing. Okay. Yeah, this is difficult, man. 
It's difficult, man. Now nah, it seems that he's coming again. He has no army anymore. Okay, more long swords. If you mine a lot of stone and make a castle and blue marches. Oh, that can be an old. But guys, 28 farmers, 23 on gold. Aztecs. Might be fine to go up to Imperial if he's not spamming Egas all the time, obviously. This is, sorry, this is a big problem. He's wall here and he looks like, but a red notice? Well, red should go and kill the Valais here. In my opinion. No? And remember, guys, that long, those long swords, they were plus one only. You know, plus one only. <laughs> you know, two counters do matter until they do not. Happy to support Memp Sub. I'm very happy that you keep supporting and that you keep in the channel with Techella. It's already, th well, more than three years, man. So, the time fly, right, Chella? The time fly. This is a castle now in front. He's gonna have all the map control. And this is dark game. I mean, I know that he's going now with the long swords. That's quite a lot of long swords, but oh. Wait, wait, wait. This is very interesting. Let's full focus mode activate it because if yellow is doing this castle, oh my god. Slam is coming back. He need to deny that one. The castle is gonna be up. And this is okay for the Canadian, actually. It is okay. But, again, his opponent is on the way to Imperial, man. Seven villains behind. Okay. But up to Imp. With one problem, now he has no castle. So, Slam need to go Imp. The problem is, his food is all these farmers without even horse collar. Well, no horse collar either. Okay. This this food is incredible. It's my near stone. And Islam need to go up to Imperial Man. I don't know how he's gonna do it. He need to buy his way to Imp. A, a stop doing villages somehow. Yeah, three TCs. A stop doing villages. You got already a hundred one villager, man. Hundred one. Seriously. Love your work. Much love from Australia. Kimblo. That's why I'm I'm also streaming a little bit earlier, few days, because now what time is it in your country? Should be a good time, like a prime time. I don't know, maybe 11 in the night. It's late night now, 22, 23. What time is it in Australia now? Oh, even better, 9:15, 9, 9 p.m. This is fantastic time for the Australians. Nice, very good, very very good. Very good time. Yeah. All right. Okay. Many long swords now. He's on the way to Imperial. But guys, he need to hold against his opponent. Two minutes. He's doing the castle now. But... Oh. He's gonna make the castle? Oh, guys. Those blue marches... Those blue marches and no fletching. No fletching. No nothing. Oi, oi, oi. I mean, how you stop the eagles without fletching? Now he's doing the fletching. Obviously, if he can deny that castle, imagine if he got botkin and, and, and ballistic. You know, he will deny this. But now, it's complicated. It's complicated. He's still with more population. But slam? It's corner. It's doing the castle at the back. Okay, but it's full corner. Believe me. Yeah, well, let's see. The game is interesting. And we have now the plus four. It's elite eagle warrior already, but the plumes and the castle is with Fletching Ollie. He's really not going to wall. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, he's walling in the last second. Nice. I mean, nice. It makes all this even more exciting, but like, if you are slam fan, you're gonna get like, oh, heart attack, man, heart attack. Still no botkin, no ballistic, 
No horse collar. You need a lot of upgrades. The score is similar, but he's doing barracks to make 200 swordsman. Man, if he's doing 200 swordsman and then he's doing few jowers. Ouch. Sebma. How you doing, man? What? Why it didn't? Why they didn't say anything? Hello, Membo and Loverboards and Girls. Of course, man. Oh no, because Sedma is now. Ah, we got a new prime. Vanguard Day Key. Thank you, man. Day K. Thank Hello, you so Membo much. And Lover Boys and Girls. Thank you so much. Yeah, remember that this is the Red Bull Qualifier Extra. If you want to know why they are doing, because if you don't know yet, it's coming to my extra. And you will you will know there. Remember, I will keep you updated. Dark, this is round three. Like as you can see there. In round two, in round one, round two, Dark won both. Slam won only one. So Slam need to win this series. Or he unlikely will be a backup. Because two losses, not gonna be first, and probably not gonna be second either. I don't know. I might be wrong. But in theory, a 5-0 or 2-4-1s might be the, the first two. And that's the spot, man. Uh-oh. Well, now he has good army numbers. Yes. But Slam has lost already all his economy. So many villages. So many villages. He keep raiding here. Because he's open. Didn't wall. So he has lost already 45 villages, man. This is pretty sick. Pretty sick. Like he still have army, but it's GG, man. Dark has played this game stronger. He got also five relics. He, he played good from the start, you know, from, from the first minute, if you ask me. And I don't know what you think, but it felt that he was controlling. It felt he was controlling the game completely all the time, you know, all the time. So, yeah. Sebma with the 71 moons. You won't forget to sit. Thank you so much, amigo. Thank you so much. I think with this amount of moons, you will get some... Yeah, you will get soon the, the VIP, man. What the hell? The problem is that I, I don't have VIP. It's for, I mean, I have to review the, the VIP program because I don't have a slot, you know? Statistics, military. He can more slam, yes. But economy? Dark with more economy. More gold, more food. Also faster with the timing. He controlled the game completely. Let's go. There you go, guys. And we keep going with game number two. Let's go, baby. Game number two. Slam and dark. If Slam is not winning now, mm, he's almost unlikely that he's going to be even as a as a replacement on the Red Bull Wallolo. Okay. Kumas and Industanis. I think I prefer Industanis by far. I know that this map is Oh man, this goal is not the greatest. Could be better here, right? Because then it's very easy to wall. I mean you can make a second TC, but Industanis is Industanis dominates, man. Seriously. Well, let's see. Let's see what is going to be, amigos. Okay. No, it's not live. It's all recorded games. This happened all this weekend. The last weekend, but nobody has streamed because they made private the, uh, the event. And they released the recorded games yesterday. So I'm just streaming now all the games. Or if not all the games, if there's, for example, some series that they have zero chances, like imagine that they are playing two players that they have lost all the series. I don't think that's worth it to stream. You know? You know? So, yeah. And now he's gonna wall. Okay. Well, he's doing the second TC. He's gonna have obviously a boost, but Hindustanis... 
will be up to Castellis faster. Then from there, what do you do? Boom as well, or go aggressive with Siege? Mm. I don't know. Obviously, Kumans with this... Oh, you need to wall. Kumans with this uh, setup, this Empire Wars, might be solid. But this tricky. A lot to discover. Uh, look at the resources. He's, he's about to click, to click up. The good thing is that you are booming with two TCs, but you also have army. Yeah, he even got fletching. Also, double with that horse collar. What the hell? He has all the upgrades. So now he needs to go back. No, I don't know. I mean, well, if he micro properly, you can compete. It's three versus three, but he's not going. What the hell? Okay. It's not that I need the ring in the middle. It's that it's better quality. Do you think that I didn't check? I know it's not it's not super immersed. But look how, how darker is now without the ring in the middle. You see? It's much darker and then it's create a lot of shadows. When you put the ring in the middle, look now. It's much better. And then it doesn't create any shadows. It's just all the lighting perfect for the stream. Oh, be careful there. And also for future green screen as well. Uh oh, careful. Okay. He's doing the market now. He's on the way to Castle Spectic. Now he's wall completely and. Red is wall completely as well. This is open, by the way. I think this map is... It's another boomy map, honestly. Because this is almost Black Forest, you know? Almost Black Forest, you know? But let's see. We might need more than six people can go. Well, if that happened... I'm not casting the second weekend, but I will be a player. So it's good. You know? It's good, man. Nice. I will stay the whole tournament. <laughs> yeah, man. You are trollers, guys. You are such a trollers. Oh, wow. Castle it already. With 14 villages more. That's quite impressive. But what Army Islam is going to do now? The gold is still exposed. And uh, it's gonna go camels. I think darks will go quick to the to the sides or not. Oh, Philly killed that's a sloppy. I mean, you have a goal at the back, man. Just move the villas from that goal to this. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, the main Wololo start exactly in one month, you know? Siege Workshop. Well, one month, one month, and one day or something. I think I have to travel exactly 20 October or 19 October, something like this. If I get a plane, because I don't have the plane yet. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Crossbow. Will borrow. Okay, let's see.
The thing here is, just look how... I mean, if you are with the Kumans, Dark make two extra TCs, and now he's catching up the villagers, so... The advantage is not that big anymore. Having the Kumans. So the longer the game goes, Dark don't need to take a risk. Because what you can do with Kumans against Hindustanis, other than resign, guys. I'm thinking the army from Kumans, and it's all countered by Hindustanis, or not. The camels, he can go halves. Okay, but then he do hand cannoneers with nine range, and then what? Keep check against Imperial Camels? They're okay? Seriously? Are they? I mean, okay. Well. Step lances and again, Imperial Camels? <laughs> I mean, well. His Camels that attack faster too. Anyway, let's see. Maybe he's trying to now push in castle it, so there's no Imperial Camels at all. This is a bad move by Dark. Because he let the skirmishes die. Then there is a lot of crumbles, okay, but skirmishes are there. Yeah, the camels without bloodlines. That was what you call a terrible battle. I mean, that's a good way to lose a game. You know? What a terrible battle, man. No bloodlines, no plus two. Camus is still coming now, but... Well, he lost quite a lot. Yeah, he lost also four villages. And now, obviously, Islam is getting even bigger advantage with the economy. And, of course, if you have a timing, you know, advantage, like you go up to him much quicker, then that's changed everything. Another villager down. Good micro, man. Yeah, the skirmishes are has now even the plus two. Dark is still booming with the three pillies, but it's crazy how much time it slammed with this army on his base. That's been a lot. Yeah, that army definitely did the job. Now he's coming with a siege war shop forward. Doing more camels. Well, Slam is doing camels too, but zero upgrades to them. So he got skirmish, he's fine. It's completely fine. For now. Economically talking. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's 80 village, so it's okay. 35 farmers, 37. Still, I don't see not too much for both players. Three TCs as well. Being annoying here with the archers. Oh, uh, was trying to do a TC there, but. He's gonna lose it. All the villages? Yeah. He will. This is sloppy, man. Well, very sloppy, actually. And now Dark is losing villages. How many will more will lose? Mm, maybe he's gonna lose this one. Yeah, he did it. Sending two more, and now finally the upgrades for Slam. Slam is doing now chain bard in armor, bloodlines. He's gonna go camels. Oh boy. Remember that these camels attack faster too. So, it's a big deal. 25% faster attack. Is that correct? I think it's 25. Yeah. yeah heavy blow. He's going back here. He deleted, but no. The problem is that if Slam not kill now with the, with the camels, he doesn't have transition to imp. And? Those are battering rams. I like that he's doing the hand card, doing the upgrades. He has 10 villages more, but he needs the cab rams. He needs to dominate in castle, it, I insist. The problem is if Dark hold the position, oof, the camels are better. He has the plus two. 
Yeah, he's gonna take the stable. But why you do another stable for uh, for a well, while? He's doing more, okay. 47 farmers, 41. Similar bullets on goal. Both with one TC on the sides. And the rams keep coming. Imagine those were cab rams. I mean, you will kill the building so quick. And it will be lovely. But now the game is so interesting. 140 population, 134. But remember one thing. Even if he got plus one, plus one, and his opponent plus two. These camels attack faster. So I believe... Well, but the yellow got 27. While well, red, 16. The spot is not ideal. He should delete the Lambrican, probably. He's not doing. He got the skirmishes, but the skirmishes don't help a lot. He's doing Pikeman upgrade. Interesting. That surprised me. He's doing full camels. Slam is still with more army. 53 camels. 53 camels! Whoa! While well, his opponent, 14 only. He's definitely taking a good decision here. I don't know how many pikes he's going to be able to do in time. But man, that's so many units. Obviously, if he manages to go up to Imperial Al so fast, that can be lovely, but... Let's see the battle. When these spikes involve... Nice, there's still more camels. Oh, the pikes are helping a lot, guys. The pikes are helping a lot, man. Oh, man. Yeah, the pikes helps a lot, man. And population now. Look at the population. This is the push, guys. This is the push that the slam try. And pretty much... Oof. I don't know, but... It's difficult, man. How, how you counter now this? Look at Dark Army now. It's crazy, man. No, he's sticking the game, it seems. Well, well, no, the camels are there, but they're still coming with more camels and more pikes. All these three stables are in a... In a, let's say, gray area, you know, because... In a gray area, because... They're in the middle, you know. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Position. All those camels. Uh, the camel seems they are plus two. They are dealing okay. And Islam is still there. He doing thumbering. Why thumbering? He's doing arches now. Okay. He probably is a little bit, like, confused on what to do. But, man, the game keep going. It's one of those games that... Full aggression. They are spamming constantly, non-stop. It reminds me to death match. Yeah, need to go back. Wow. Slam now having arches to protect those. This can be lovely. And now a stone to make a castle. Slam is winning the game, man. Ballistic. What is doing good is that even if he took some bad battles, he's still producing army all the time. With a brutal boom already, 143 pillars. That has 140, but Slam has the initiative all the time. Yeah, pretty much. He's obviously killing more units. Is this cab rams? No, it's still battering rams, but. Good thing Dark is spamming army too. Now chain barling armor quite late. When your opponent is fighting all the time with the plus two. It's expanding a little. It's expanding a little. Okay. More stable. I know the RG range. And the military numbers are just crazy. Wow. This is a strong play, man. It's a pity that the slam don't have that consistency, you know. It's a real pity. But man, that castle is great. And he is on the way to Imperial, man. On the way to Imperial. And that's a good point. Some Knight raiding. Well, he's raiding, but he's red. But he may if he was raiding a little bit here, you know, because he knows that he's here. Oh my god. Same some army, man. 
Seems so hard, man. The castle is gonna be up. Red. I like red. Ooh. Careful, man. Dark 150 values. And taking these, you are taking all the resources. And he's sending all the villages. Is a slam going to throw this game? He shouldn't. And this army notice. Oh! Oh! Well, he wants to be in this area, but man, he could he could deny this castle. And now he's gonna deny this one. I mean, he's having chances with these camels, but my goodness, he was there with all the army. I don't get it, man. This is okay. I'm sorry, guys, but at least he did this castle, but this is bad. Because you have a castle, yes, but you are getting denied a lot of resources. Losing villages too. No the TC. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Red can see this or not? Yeah, man. Kill the villages. Imperial. And what is Dark doing? He's going full army? It seems so, because he's doing also armored elephants. But he keep killing the ladies. Population? Better. For dark. Doing also gulams. Good thing is that the castles can go traps. But if he denied and kill all these villages, he won't have resources. He doesn't have the map control. Oh my god. This is very good. This is very, very good. Cleaning absolutely everything. Sending the camels there. But remember one thing. Those camels will get the plus four. But that's it. No heavy camels. No heavy camels. He will make... Mm, a lot more armored elephant. You need to kill this castle. If he's not killing this castle, he's dead. The score is 1000 score difference. Now he has the castle here. He's still with more population than the Canadian. And he still have resources, man. So these camels are eating the plus four camels. Wow. Guys, Hindustani's camels are use OP. And right now, look at the military numbers for the Canadian. Another elephant here is going to send. That's crazy. Okay. Still having seven camels. The game is crazy. The game is really crazy. Obviously, if Dark reach Imperial, then he will the game. But that's the problem. It doesn't look like he will. But Slam, do not see this. He could kill this, but he's not doing. He could use the villages, but he's not doing. So he's going to take the castle down. Now this DC is also going to be down. With more villages down. It's still 150, but he's doing bikes. Oh my god. He's doing pikes. If he's doing pikes, he's dying, man. Because his opponent just make gulams and the pikes die. We'll see. Army almost the same again, but guys, Dark it's clicking up to Imperial, man. It's gonna be up to Imperial in a moment. Look at the food, it's just gonna sell. Yeah, he's doing camels, but sell some resources and go up. This is crazy, man. Yeah, the castle is gonna go down and Look at those resources, 160 villages, guys. The amount of elephants here cleaning all the buildings. Slam one relic, dark zero. The TC is gone. Now he's doing towers. He's gonna let him do the towers? He shouldn't. What? 
What? A castle here is not needed. I mean, it's a good one. Okay. But you just make the castle here. You protect their resources. What do you achieve here? Kill few farmers? You want a castle here. That's a bad decision. This is a good castle, but now Slam, it seems to be taking the game finally. With a lot of camels still. Okay, remember that now Hindustanis don't have house. But they can still go over the camels. But they don't have house. That's a good decision. And all level is going down. Wow. After being... I don't know. I mean... I don't want to say that it's over. But after being... Wow. 2,000 stone. You have to be safe, man. You have been raiding for a while. To make the castles here. Wait for Imperial. He has a still good population. But I don't know. It's a crazy game. It's a crazy game. I mean... He has 200 pop. What? Now he's going to kill the traps. Or not. Yeah. He will. And this castle is fantastic. This is the castle we're talking about. Here now, I will do a castle here. To protect everything. My goodness. He got the stone for that and more. And now, with these camels... And Pikes, he's just fine, man. So imagine when he's doing some upgrades. This is crazy. Dark is still 200 population. I mean, play like this, holy moly. Play like this is just pretty epic, honestly. Yeah, he's taking the trebuchet. And now he's going to go bottom. Or not. He has to. Castle forward, this castle. Do you see? At the end, he's doing the castle in that spot. He's going to have helps, but... The halberdiers are going to come later. You know, later. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, everyone. Today, early stream. And a very long one. We're going to dominate the whole day. Yes. Make the castle, man. Okay. It's doing. Slam again. No army. The halberdiers are Tatar's halves. Plus one. Missing two upgrades. Heavy camels plus four. Another castle in this area. I insist that this castle is not needed. Imagine if he got a castle here already. You know? Now he can send some golems, but he's there with 24 values. Pretty sick. And another castle and a stone for another. Just look. One, two castles, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, but he's gonna lose those villages here. I believe. Yeah, he did not notice. There's too much going on. And too many castles. The score is still getting closer. Yes, it is getting closer. He has now 10 halberdiers. And his opponent has camels. So, Dark need gulams. Go, 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 gulams. To dominate the world. Yeah, that castle is not up. Sending the camels, but the halves are doing the job. And those halves are not Tatars anymore, but these two castles in the same area. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. It's a new subscriber. A new subscriber. A new Prime subscription. Let's go, baby. I apologize for my boys, but you know, I'm casting every day so many hours. And uh, my control of, uh, you know, my boys is not the same. It's not great. Slam is still 36 army, 23. This is one of those games that we enjoy, right, guys? Has been a lot of army all the time. He tried to push, didn't work. Back and forth, full boom. Eh, it's brutality, man. Brutality. Slam low on gold, it's true. And this is now Elite Ghulam. He forgot the foundation here with that castle. You know? And the light caps are going to go bye-bye? No. But one trap is gone. Okay. What? Another two castles? How many he got? This is this is dead much, man. Doing the castle with one villager. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, he's losing. He has two traps. The Lycans are coming. 
Camels will deal no. Well, he's gonna take it. You need to defend this, but it's still going. It's it's crazy. Dark 166 billion. The scores still say that Islam is ahead, but no way. Islam is dead. Dark is playing just a brutal game. You know, an incredible game. That that's crazy. I mean, the game Dark is doing in this game is brutal. Imperial camels. So many villains, but worthy, probably. Because he's having all the map, is recovering completely. And Islam, if he's confirmed this lost, it's already with pretty much zero chances to get a spot as a backup. Because we'll be after three rounds, one victory, two losses. Dark, after three rounds, three victories, man. Yes, there is time limit, but it's still far from the time limit. Don't worry. And this game is not gonna go time limit. Don't think Islam can hold anymore. I mean, when he's going with army, with Imperial Camels and Gulams, it's, just, it's destruction, man. Obviously, he doesn't have too many because he has no space. You know, no space. Believable. Yeah, cast is still repairing and now. Slam has how many villains on goal got? One? Dark 50? 50 villains on goal? Slam? How many guys? How many villains on goal with Kumans? How many villains on goal? Exactly, man. Zero. Incredible comeback, man. Incredible comeback here. Dark on fire, 3 0, slam 1 2. That's pretty sick, you know. That's pretty sick. And you know, for the next series, I'm going to put here what is good. I'm going to put here this, you know, for the spot, for the name, I will put this 1 2, so you know exactly how they are going. 3 0. So you know how they are in the in the classification. Oh man. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. I think this is good, right? One, two, and three zero. Yeah. Military. Pretty crazy, you know. Pretty crazy. Let me bring the uh where's my screen? Here it is. Oh man. Islam kill more units, but the economy he dominated nine thousand more. He never did the army to kill the Kumans, to kill the Hindustanis. And remember, he went to Imperial 10 minutes faster, you know, 10 minutes faster. And in 10 minutes, being in Imp, he couldn't kill his opponent. That's quite impressive. Quite impressive, guys. So, well, if you have enjoyed this, I'm up on YouTube, amigos. Okay, guys, this is going to give us the information that we need. And the information that we need is who is going to be the player, guys, that is going to be as a backup. Dogao was the big surprise, right? And Dogao is now trying to, well, to get some chance to get into the tournament that maybe is possible. Dogao has Gurjaras and Dark has the Vikings. What civilization is better for this map? The winner of this series? It's, it has the possibility, man. It has the possibility, my goodness. Okay. House, Dock. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, the, who win the series is the first. If Dogao win and somebody cannot go to the Red Bull, he will be there. And if Dark is winning the same. So let's see who is going to be. 
Obviously, we all hope that he's not going to be needed this qualifier, but we never know, right? We never know. And in this qualifier, both Togo and Dark has played amazing, actually. Really strong. We have seen some really great games. And with Dark, we saw some crazy game with, uh, with some crazy comebacks. Against Kanji, against Slam. Wow. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Slam. I was expecting him to at least be here in the second place. First or second, to be honest. But he's not playing good, man. He's not playing good. Yeah, Islam boy. Yeah. Not gonna lie, you know. I will have liked it to meet him again. I met him the real in real life, you know, last year in Heidelberg, but this time it's not gonna be possible. So, well, it's what it is. Okay. Dark already losing three fishing ships. These towers kill a lot. This map, as I as you know, well, it's kind of met. And Dogao is having a great economy, man. Wow. Holy moly. Look at this transition to castle in four minutes. He killed a few fish, made the market, sell the stone, and he's up already. What the hell? And you can put the fishing ships, remember, in the dock. I forgot. I always forget about that with Gurjaras. That you can save those. Garrison. Like Kemer with the houses. Okay. Well, we, we didn't talk too much. He's... Um... He's not... Uh... I mean, he's a little bit shy, I will say. Uh-oh. Well, all the fish bye-bye. Yeah. I remember one series. It was Gurjaras and Vikings in one of the qualifiers. As decider. Gurjara was ACCM. And I think Vikings was Nikov. And Nikov won, if I'm not wrong, in a crazy game. Is that correct? I think it was like this. In the first qualifier it was exactly the same matchup and nick of one with the vikings yeah extra tc in this area and one tc at home i like it you want to expand and then you want to be safe at home too here dark well now he's taking the dock that fish is gone he got six fishing ships. Six fishing ships and doing more galleys. Interesting. He's doing now riders. Oji my oi. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Awesome. Less go, go, three. go. Go, go, go. The support is real. Vamos, amigos. The dock is gone. Okay. He has a stable. Red can see it. Don't think that the stable is going to give too much. Not against Gujaras. Yeah, he's doing another barrack. Then why you did the stable? I don't understand. Heavy plow, Bozo. With Gujara, he has five buffaloes inside. Hmm. He's doing the monastery. Dark got the score lead. He has a lot more army in total. He got 11 galleys. Villains is behind. Because even if he goes the fish, he has three tone centers. What? Why is a stone wall in this area? I don't understand this. What, what is he doing with that? Look at this. Good move here. 
Yeah? Oh god. One HP transport, guys. One HP transport with two villages. Seriously? Well, now that tower is gonna be gone. But that tower is just too strong. It is really strong. Okay. Tuval is here to do what? A siege workshop or something? I don't know what is he doing, yellow. I'm confused. He has a couple of monks. But he cannot see it. He's gonna see with the outpost. Not anymore. What? He converted one. And he wants to make the outpost. What the hell? This is weird. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, everyone. Dark is coming with many spears, and Dogao is just booming. He has 18 villages more, man. 18 villages more. Seriously? Like, 18 villages more for real? Yeah, this map is, is a very, very slow map. ¿Qué haces, Noah? Ya, ten cuidado, anda, ponte bien. Déjalo ahí, déjalo ahí. I don't think, I don't think this is a good map. As you can see, it's super big. Then there is galleys all over. And uh, since it's so, so big, I mean, if you try to make a aggression, you can move all over and it's going to be a... Yeah, most of the time, an a Imperial battle. I don't remember a game that finished before Imp in this map. The Chakram killed the Vikings. If you are faster to Imp and you mass them, probably. But let's see. Nine villages on stone, 11, both are getting good stone. Hmm? He should repair the Magonal. Got it. Oh god, this castle. This castle is is a solid one, but he's doing a scale bar in armor. The problem is that Dogao has a brutal boom, man. He just booming. I mean, he attacked in the start of the game, he killed three fishing ships, and now he's booming. He's coming with a two mangle. This castle is gonna be good because it's gonna deny this, but who cares? He's on the way to Imperial. So when he reach him, he will just dominate completely. And when an Empire Wars, you see that Dogao has not done anything else and then he's still booming, he's still winning. Uh, you know that this is a boom game completely. Serpudi, thank you for the three moons. So, I'm not sure, man. Now he's gonna make another castle here, okay. The score is almost the same, but the score, it's so tricky. You know, it happened because he has army, but... 97 villages. He's 22 villages more, man. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Bro, Porky! Thank you, man! The cast is gonna be up! And the Mangonel? This is so important. To delay. So important. He has no fletching even, but... Well... Yeah, he did the castle, man. Now, Archie ranges. Now, let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, Vikings is always solid. Two relics for Dark, one for Dogao. But Dogao here should dominate. 
let's see. Because we have seen this before. Maybe he's recovered. He's 22 bullets behind. That's that's the problem. Because the previous game that we have seen that Dark recover, he was ahead in villages. Much slower up to Imp. But ahead in villages then 200 pop, blah, blah, blah. Now it's not the case. And that castle will fall. And fast. Yeah, he's about to go up Dark. But Dugao is in Imperial already. One and two trebuchets. Yeah, he's going. Doing the plus three. And he's gonna drop another castle. Where? Okay, he's gonna wall this area. Just to be... To secure this, probably. Yeah, but it's not wall. This is... Well, he has the water. He has the water, so he can't move there, army. It's only going pikes, Dark. Dugao? What is Dogao doing? Dogao has no army. Two camels, two spears, three skirmishers. He's going skirms. Okay. He's gonna take the castle, but Dark is on the way to Imperial. With definitely, well, a weaker economy. That's for sure. Look at the castle that he's doing. It's forcing him to make the castle here. Would be ideal to do it here, but eh, he's still fine. Thanks to the water. Yeah, well, Skirmishes are plus three. They are not elite. And he's still not doing Chathram. He's not doing the unique units. I don't know why, because they're great, as you mentioned in the stream. Fortified walls. Okay. And here's Siege Workshop. For real? Well, he's walling. He's definitely walling. Going with the traps. And one, two, three trebuchets. We'll try to take the castle. Double blastmith to make more upgrades. Upgrades faster. Bloodlines, husbandry. What is he going to do? He's going to go riders? The score is getting a little bit closer. The population is not that big difference. Because Dogao does have, but now hand cannoneers. Hand cannoneers and skirmishes is a good combination. Because the skims can push back the arbalest. And the hand cannoneers, everything else. The infantry, pretty much. Yeah, that castle is gonna die. It's gonna get destroyed. What army he has here to defend? Because Dark got four relics. That's good. He's gonna come with the galleys. Oh boy. Bomber cannons will help a lot. Really, really a lot. He's doing cab ramps, but he got nothing to defend to. Both are going to try to attack to each other at the same time. Oh boy. Vili is now from, uh, from Dark. Recover quite a lot, 112. But he still have no army on land. Still walling more. Like seriously? Walls are life, man. Market. And this is elite what? Elite Raiders. Let's go, baby. Okay. Well, in the south. It's still nothing at all. Just a couple of rams. The bomber cannons might kill the galleys, as you can see. And pretty quick. So we now another castle, and you can see the walls. You can see how there's almost no aggression because the players are trying to defend the maximum. This is gonna go down, that's for sure. And now more walls. Oi, oi, oi. Need to go back. How you kill those galleys now? Do you need a lot more bomber cannons? Otherwise, that army will kill all. And you know what I will do if I was dark? Just rams here. You send rams and you can probably kill this. Obviously, if you wait till he's doing army, then not. And there's more rams now. There's more rams now. K 
Cannon Galleons, take the Bomber Cannon! Oh, but this is great. This is absolutely great what he's doing. He's amazing and dark. Do not notice. Yes, now he does. But he has lost some good amount of values. Yeah, good play there by Dugao. Really good play. On this area, he cannot go. But, oh, his Galleons. Elite Cannon Galleon. Now, plus one armor. He's going to do what? Pikes? Berserkers? What? The problem is, check how many villages has Dark on goal right now. He's sending now more villages, and if he's doing the castle here, what he can do Dark without goal? These riders are crazy. They are so fast, you know? Like, they are really, really fast, and you might go crazy trying to chase him, you know? Well... I think Dogao is playing a very smart game. Really, really smart game. Not the most spectacular, but he's not playing to for fun. He's playing to try to win and have chances still to be in Red Bull. Wallolo Legacy. Galleon Abrid, plus four. Keep raiding like crazy. I think he should put the village in the south. And not lose raiders like this. But well, it's fine. Bring in a castle here. But he is still dark. Really too long. Really, really too long without goal. So basically, look at the resources for her. Yeah, look at the resources for her. For the gal. Yeah, he's killing all those rams. He's still not doing any unique unit. And I think the unique units could destroy also those pikes. But man, these riders are killing the pikes. Now, this, this is game. I mean, he's obviously going to keep trying. But now he's cutting here, avoiding the, the galleys. And now with the riders inside and the bomber cannons, the guy is just playing amazing. He's attacking in the north. He's attacking in the south. Look at the amount of units. What the hell? Look at the amount of raiders. My goodness. He's even getting now galleons. So he recovered the water too. Yeah, he's doing a, good, a great job. Five bomber cannons. He's even doing careening. And Dogawa has played smart here. Very, very smart. Yeah, he took this area. Now he's taking the other. It's not fully taken, but you know, even this turbine is fine because it has been a lot without gold. Yeah, difficult. The castle will go down, no stone. And Dark got five relics, guys. Dark got five relics. That's why he might feel annoyed, man. Five relics and look how I'm losing. Well. Yeah, the Bomber Cannon, sending the Bomber Cannon lonely is kind of weird. But guys, the game was already over. GG. And this is what you call, in this first game, Dogao Total Domination. Total and real domination for sure. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Let's see. Dogao need one game more. Military. He kill a lot. It was an spectacular game, but I have told you about this map. It's a boom map. There's going to be games like this. Most of the time, you know? Most of the times. And even with five rallies, he couldn't do the job. His economy was brutal. And in period time, three minutes more in a map like this matters a lot. Game two. Okay. We keep going. And guys, this match, it's so important because... It can be the one that gives Dogao a hope. You know, a little bit of hope. Dark Zero Dogao 1 in Dustanis. The opening Archie range. Opening for Lithuanians is sick. Look at the resources they have. They have a lot. They really have a lot. So, 
make double attacks, probably bake even fortune. Go aggressive, man. Yeah. Is he doing something else or not? Nope. Okay. I really believe that the transition to castle is crucial because you need to get here this. So we might not see feudal. They are also a little bit far. And uh, the castle approach and taking the, the berries in front in on top of that hill is, is definitely the way to go, you know? Yeah. No. Man, you need to cast teaching. No, no, no. No, no I need to focus in the school. Okay, and now it's gonna wall all the area here. We're gonna wall from the edge of the map till this area, and these two scouts inside from dark. That's a villain down. Well, it's something. It's already two villains ahead, and probably now another. No, no, no. Let's see the multitasking. Dogao also idle time and Lithuanian's economy, man. Lithuanian's so powerful. Really, really powerful. Who is this, by the way? And, and we got also Chris two minutes ago Here, with the five months. Have my soup. Thank you so much, Edon. Appreciate it, man. I know the village down. Whoa. Well, guys. I think Dogao is dead. This is a snowball game completely. Frivolist kill. And look at Lithuanian's dark economy. Like, if you don't get this game, then what? which one? Yeah, man. He's up. Ooh. Completely destruction. Okay. Well, he has the arches there, but he's far from going up. He can do the market and then go up too, but this is what you want to avoid against Lithuanians. To be behind, then he can go to the middle and unlikely to stop it, man. Unlikely to stop it. We'll see. Don't watch four archers. Hmm. He's still not going up, so. He's gonna take it here? No, he didn't. Okay. He's being just annoying. He's, he's having the arches. Now Dogao is up. But he has two minutes. And he's going forward. I like it with Revelius. You need to go and quick. His resources are very solid. Monastery and Siege Warshot. Or not? No? Okay. I will be disappointed. Did he lose anything, man? Else. A lot of idle villages. He's doing the mill, not doing a siege or shop. That's bad. That's, in my opinion, is bad. And this is even worse. Now, the stable. Well, he has spears and. No, no, I think. I think siege or shop will be great with few. Not even mangrove, like scorpions, but the problem is that yellow economy, it's it's really weird. Four on wood only. Nine on foot, nineteen on gold. What the hell? Nineteen on gold is pretty sick. Wow. 
Well, with the plus two here, he's gonna do some damage before he's doing the Arbors. That's good to take the battle. Now he's gonna away with that one. And you're gonna go away. Not, don't go in. Why he's going in? I don't get it. I don't get it that night in. I mean, he micro one night at the back because he's low HP and then he put the other. Don't get it. Plus three knights already. Two relics and four gin. That's solid. That's really solid. Still, he didn't make a second town center. Population, Dogao has one villager more. Why? Because of this. And now this army is good and he's within Dustanis. I think Dark half lost a big opportunity to, to to push his opponent yeah and he's gonna lose the middle now like seriously what the hell this is yeah even a tc will be great here but they i don't know he's trying to convert he's gonna kill the he's gonna take the monk one down man he's He's coming back, Dogal. He killed everything. I don't know what he did here. Just look at the village distribution for Dark. It's too many on goal. Like, too many. And well, all the five relics is gonna be lost. By, the, by, by Dark, he's gonna go and take the relics now. And these camels, extra bonus against buildings. Oh, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it's disaster. Now he's gonna make the Bloodless and the Skateboard in armor. Those knights that, at the moment, they still have the plus five, but that's gonna change super quick. Yeah, he's even lose. Oh, he lost already the relics. So now those knights cannot do anything. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dark has to do some magic here. Some magic or the snowball is gonna be unstoppable. It looks unstoppable right now. With 16 army, dark 7 army, coming with the camels, those crows that are going to be behind those camels, protecting this is open. Hole in between the buildings. My goodness. Yeah. He's gonna now take the monk, or try in. And Chrissy come back from Dogao, seriously. Well, Indostanis helps, but he did the right call completely. We'll see. Let's see the camels. No, his economy was not good ever. He's mining a lot of stone. From the start, so many villages on gold, little farming. His economy was really unbalanced. Yeah. Still two villages different only. But the relics? He's taking the relics now, man. Doing a town center. Why not in the berries? I think it will be good. I know the monastery. So he's gonna make more monks and he can make a castle soon but let's see yeah he's gonna keep attacking he got a lot of farming you have to convert maybe or kill the monks you don't want to get converted more but it's he cannot stop him man he cannot stop him he killed all the monks He's killing another. He's gonna kill another one. Eh, he's killing everything. Dark is doing a defensive castle. You know, when you are doing a defensive castle in this situation. Ay, ay, ay. Population? 10 population difference. Billy is only two difference. Army is, is what matters here. Big difference. So if you kill those knights and then you kill those villages, ladies and gentlemen, Dogao's score is exploding. He's now gonna take all the damn relics. He has three already. And... He's killing all. Well, still trying. The castle needs to be up. But he has the crossbows. Keep killing more villages. Now he has monks as well. He's gonna make the castle. So, take the relics, man. Do you see that he's gonna make it? Or maybe not. Oh, man. Yeah, Dogao keep killing villages, man. Time to get the relic back. Perfect. Oh, really good what he did here. Look at the population and 
Well, this is probably the Dogao, the Dogao that we knows. This is Dogao that we knows. And well, 17 villains more and five relics. Tell me how he's gonna lose now this. I know that the score is similar, but look. Two villains on wood, 23 on foot, 15 on gold. Two villains on wood. These two, guys. These two heroes are here on wood. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Okay. He has to be careful, but army, army is almost the same now. He's gonna now try to push here with some siege or something. The problem is that he has no wood, man. What the hell? He has been without wood almost all the game. He wants to make a castle there. In this area, probably. Yeah. Well, in this area. Ahora no puedo mirar mi vida. Ahora voy, espera un momento. Ok, he's converting now the camels. Four monks. Yellow now has a ok army. He converted some. The knights are plus two. But the problem is, look at the village difference, man. The village is different, and these monks are just being so important for both players, but mainly for Dogal. He has so many camels now. With those camels, he's gonna take all oh, that knight. is very low HP, just kill it. He's trying to snipe the monks, but the knight is killing all. He's really killing all. Nah. I mean, if he's doing the castle, how many villains he's losing here? He has nothing. Oh, man, the, the Doubt Castle is real, man. The Doubt Castle is real. Population disaster. Oh. 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 97. And. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Oh. 99.23% 99.23% is sending all the villages but now there's no room oh cheating that's cheating he took the corner man <laughs> well Dogao did a good job but he touched with that corner, you know? Well, he's lost a lot. The castle is good, but Dark got nothing. Absolutely. He's gonna make another castle. It's He keep playing like, for real. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna make another castle. Just make it here, and now he take the relics. Okay. Well. He's gonna keep trying. But now, this amount of camels should dominate probably, right? I guess so. He can do the castle too. Togao can make a castle here to defend. What well, he's not doing? He's gonna let him get the relics? It seems so. Well, it's a big game to go. Sorry, Dark is a brutal tryhard. But now with that castle, he probably cannot even take the relics either. Doing the castle, the game will keep going for a little bit more. Because the score is not that huge difference. But 42 villages, man. 42 villages. Unbelievable. Problem right now, he's not mining gold. He's gonna mine now here. Okay. He has one, two, three castles. But one is it dark. 
to go four tone centers, one castle. That's how it should be, more or less. One, two, three, and that four TC that is pretty much dead. Yeah, destroyed. Three now. Okay. Okay, okay. To go now doing the horse collar. Saki make siege. I mean, if he's in castle, it's to kill those. I don't know. He could do it. But he's open, man. He's fully open. I mean, if he's going, he's gonna raid like crazy. He's still with three villages on wood, man. Three villages on wood. Not even Bozo. You know, it's... Well, he want to go Imperial, man. Are you kidding me, man? Ouch. But yeah, he's raiding. He has not even gold to go. Now he maybe... Now he's gonna lose. <sighs> he want to go in with 46 villains, man. He want to go and he will go imp. Fast imp. And he's up. Unbelievable. He's up to Imperial, man. Okay, he didn't wall. And he keep coming. Those knights are plus two. There's a camel, the crossbows. Five relics, man. Pretty sick. The guy is doing university now. He has his stone to make another castle. The score is still obviously huge difference. 100 is 22. He has 54 population. Guys, dark. Don't have wood to even make traps. He has no village on wood. My goodness. Okay, it's gonna be an Imperial. He has Ballistic now, and what is he planning? Trying to kill all the... Yeah, this is open, for example. If he just get there, he just destroy. But he has to do it. And quick. It's crazy that he didn't kill yet the monastery, man. It's open, man. It's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's open, man, I'm telling you, and he doesn't listen to me. Yeah? He's killing all the villagers. He's now going up to Imperial. Block printing, monks. He has 10 monks, okay. And now he's coming with a ram, an armored elephant, to try to kill the castle. Okay. Thank you, Kios, for the raid. Thank you so much, amigo. Mexiboku. Hello, Mr. Kios. He's taking the he's taking the castle. Well, how many hours are we alive? Yeah, seven hours and 30 minutes. Super strong. He's gonna take that castle, he just need to repair. But well, we are just watching how how Dogao is destroying Dark. And when Dogao just reach Imp, okay, he's sending some latest. They are plus two, so they might be strong. I might kill those. Oh, he want to convert. He deleted, man. But he can kill the castle. Just with the castle, 100 HP. Look. Look, look, look. He has no village to repair. The castle is gonna be down. 50. 30. 
20 HP, 11 HP, 1 HP, a la mierda HP. Oh, la, 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 ya, ya, ya. Yeah, well. He's gonna be an Imperial in a moment. He has a lot of food, wood. No goal. Doing another castle here. And, uh, this is ridiculous, man. He has, right now, almost 70 villages more. You know? Almost 70 villages more more he's now in imperial he does have the relics he should take the relics but he's gonna he's gonna take the trap he didn't okay man he keeps he keep really trying you know like with zero villages on wood 44 villiers Killing the villains, okay. Not gonna make a Lambrican, maybe. But Dark keep trying, man. Unbelievable, man. Well, he really wanted to win, but it shouldn't happen. It's uh, seven monks, it's doing more army, just light caps. It's fine to kill all. But he's gonna send the camels now. Yeah. I mean, if he converts something, doesn't matter. He will just kill the monks. And now he will kill the traps. And then he will call the GG. The score difference is insane. It's crazy how Dark here throw it a little bit, in my opinion. GG call. And Dogao, it's the first in the extra qualifier. Let's take the whole thing in a moment. I'm going to... Put the score here. Statistics. It was over long ago. They killed similar, but the economy, obviously, pff, brutal difference. Yeah. And you can see. Well, Dogao is the first. Thumb up on YouTube, amigos.